Good morning boys and girls, how are you doing today? Here we are, ready for a new lesson. Our today's theme is going to be time questions. What are time questions? It's a question that we use to give strength to a statement. Okay. Probably some of you don't understand what I'm saying, but I'm going to go back and just remember you something. Remind you something, I'm sorry. Spanish is not the same as English. But we use tap questions in Spanish, but in a different way than we do it in English. For example, we make a couple of examples in Spanish. ¿Tú estudias en la noche? Oh no. Ahí está la tap question. Hice una afirmación y con una pregunta. En sentido opuesto, yo le doy fuerza a lo que acabo de decir. en la calle o si a un afirma, a un enunciado en negativo le da una pregunta en afirmativo otros dos ejemplos tu perro no muerde o si ¿Eh? o digo tu gato caza ratones o no simplemente hacemos eso o si o no no en inglés es different, but we use it. For example, I'm going to go today and work this thing with the simple present and with the future tense. Our next lesson is going to be with the simple past and the present perfect. So, I'm going to give you a little bit of a risk, okay? For example, um, Beto. Is a doctor. I'm creating a firm I'm sorry, it's not a question, I'm, this is a statement. Beto is a doctor. Now, how would the tag question go? First of all, if this is affirmative, the tag question has to go in a negative expression. So I'm going to say, it's not, and I'm not going to use Beto. I'm going to use his pronoun, which is he. But here is not he is not the correct way of saying it. We must use it. We must say it contracted. Okay. So I'm going to say, isn't he? Is that a doctor? I'm saying something, I'm saying 
something in that expression. So the tap question must go in a firmer way. In this case, yes, I'm going to go with the B form um. I am not sick. Am I? See the difference? So only for a favorite only for a favorite expression, we use the R. But in this case, when I'm saying a negative thing, I go with a tag question, as we usually will do. Now, let's make two more examples, and then we switch the mode, okay? Uh, mm, Mata, how are you doing, Mika?
You eat at noon. I'm talking about something different. You eat at noon. Now, the past question has to go in a negative expression. Now, since we're talking about you, we use do. Don't we? In a negative expression. Here's my package. You eat at noon, don't you? Okay. This is a kind of long video, but the thing is very important for you to learn. American people used to talk these tap questions a lot, believe me. Even myself, I do a lot when I speak in English. So, uh, let's make another example very quickly. Um, Jose does not study here. It's a negative expression. So the type of question has to go in a positive way. Does he? It's easier this way, right? Jose doesn't study here. Does he? Now, uh, another example, very quickly, for example, The cats do not hunt mice. Negative expression, the type question has to go in positive. Because we're talking about the cat, plural, we use do. And the pronoun for cat, the cat do not hunt mice. Do they? No. For you, very quick.
day. Exactly. So, don't they? Our dog does not bark. Our time question has no impossible. Does? Pay attention. Some of you, does he? American people, people in the U.S. or ever, they mention their pet as he or as she. If it's a chuchita, they will say she. If it's a perrito, they will say he, and it's accepted. But the proper, the correct way of saying it would be it. Because it is a pronoun that we use for animals and things. Remember what well, I'm saying? You will see in movies or other places that uh, those gringos, they use he or she for their pet, even for horses. Now, the lawyers do not waste time. Because I'm talking about they when it's due. And the lawyers? They. Do they? Now, please take a picture of this exercise uh, and send it with your homework, with the real homework. You have to send this as long as uh, you want to get by the day your homework. So, kids, please stay at home, keep up with the woodwork, and God bless you all.